Then I tried to hang myself with bungee cord. I kept almost dying. The video game industry is falling to pieces as even more layoffs are happening and I could not find it funnier because as I'm sure you heard, Bungie has decided to lay off at least 220 employees after a round of about 100 layoffs last year. And who they decided to lay off is cause for celebration. So welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. And yes, this morning we shared an important update with Bungie team on the difficult decision to eliminate 220 roles at Bungie. You can read the full statement below. We're going to get into my thoughts on this. Before we do, hit that subscribe button because I'm a nerdy news channel that covers nerdy news every day. And uh, yeah, this ain't the problem that the, the, the games journalists want you to think it is. While Kotaku is out there writing articles about uh, the Bungie CEO seemingly spit over 2.3 million on classic cars after Sony Inquisition. Yeah, they're going to try and frame this in the most negative way possible to make you think, oh, the poor people losing their jobs. What's happening in the gaming industry? I will tell you what's happening in the gaming industry. A thing of beauty. Also, a quick aside. Um, it was his money. Who cares what he spent money on? Like, like the Sony Inquisition was, was literally a few years ago or a couple years ago. Uh, if he bought cars with that, Oh, well, it's, it's, it's not like him not buying the cars would have saved the company. Just, just throwing that out there. But before we go any further, there is a community note here. 450 is the estimated total reduction in staff. From 1,300, 220 is 17% of uh, 1,294 to 850. As indicated by the article, we still have over 850 team members building Destiny and Marathon. This represents 34.6% total reduction in studio size. So... Point is, uh, Bungie's claiming 17%, people are doing the math, it seems like it might actually be 34.6%. Either way, the number is not high enough, if you ask me. So you got this from Paul Tassie here. Paul Tassie says, new info about the Bungie layoffs per a source. Oh, I, I, I'm curious who your source is. The layoff decisions came directly from Bungie management, not Sony. This is not about Sony replacing Bungie employees with their own people. Many employee benefits, though not health insurance, only last till the end of the month if you're let go. Laying people off at the 30th means a single additional day of coverage. Many employees have uninvested shares as a result of the Sony purchase. These shares will be received based on staying with the company for a certain number of years following the sale, but those shares revert to Bungie if you leave, even if you're fired, which is what's happening to many of those affected. They are doing everything they can to try and make you feel sorry for these sad sacks. However, then you got Packer Girl. You got Packer Girl doing the Lord's work, and she decided to do a deep dive that didn't have to do with, oh, look at all the cars that this guy has bought. Bungie has announced the layoff of 220 employees, including the majority of the studio's executive and senior leadership. You know, these are the, the, the high up managers and the middle management types that are just clogging up the industry and actually aren't getting anything done. The people that micromanage, the people in HR, the people that are, you know, literal DEI hires and are trying to push these DEI uh, you know, investments and these DEI um, you know, practices in the gaming industry. So yes, while I'm sure some of the people that are writing code, I'm sure some of the people that are doing background art all right, they are probably getting laid off too. However, the majority is the studio's executive and senior leadership. That is excellent because you want to know what is screwing up the gaming industry? These thick-headed morons that don't actually know anything about the gaming industry and just want to flex their managerial power. And there is so much more to it than this. Reason behind the layoffs. Due to rising costs of development and industry shifts as well as enduring economic conditions, it has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. You know, I was on the official Bounding into Comics live stream last night, and, and, and what Spent said, and I, I believe Packer Girl was adding to this, but what Spent said was that all these individuals during COVID, they were raking in the cash. Gaming was having a boom because people were stuck inside, so they were playing video games all the time. Which meant they were buying video games. Man, they were buying DLC, man, they were buying cosmetics, man, they were signing up for new fancy shiny subscription services, and they thought, this is never gonna end. Only, then COVID did end, because it was basically a cold, and people started going outside, and going back to work, and you know, do, doing all the things that isn't sitting around playing video games, and now all these extra hired hands to cover the cost for a boom in the gaming industry that was 
always going to be temporary is coming to bite him in the ass. Should have made him contractors. But yes, this morning I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult challenges we've ever had to face to make as a studio. We've ever had to make as a studio due to a rising cost of development and industry shifts, as well as economic conditions. It has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. Uh, the fact that you're wanting to focus entirely on Destiny? That's stupid! You're stupid! Stop being- I'm actually shocked because I thought everyone had come to the consensus that that game is trash. In fact, we will get into a little bit of Destiny in a bit. Let's unpack how he ended up in this position. It's important to understand how we got here. For over five years, it's been our goal to ship games in three enduring global franchises. Remember when uh, big AAA studios had more than just- three franchises, you know? Like, like it, it's actually mind-blowing to me how little we get done, at least in the Western industry. This still kind of happens in Japan. In Japan, the Japanese industry, you've got, you know, studios like Capcom that have multiple franchises. You got Mega Man, you got Devil May Cry, you got Resident Evil, you got Street Fighter. Uh, you know, like, like, I, I could go on. Capcom is, you know, they're a very easy one to pull from, but you could say the same thing for, uh, you probably say the same thing for Square Enix, you could say the same thing for Sega. Yeah, they've got, like, their big flagship ones, but they're always putting out other games, whether it be Sonic, yeah, Yakuza, Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio, all those are getting remakes or, or, or fresh new coats of paint coming out here pretty soon. The fact of the matter is, this is literally a, a, a western thing to like be known for one or two just big franchises. And uh, yeah, no wonder you can't sustain the gaming industry just being known for that. Maybe diversify, come out with some games that aren't the same slot over and over, and try and build out more of a customer base. Again, with actual talent behind the wheel, not these middle management individuals that frankly should be getting the layoffs, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We've eventually realized this model stretched our talent too thin too quickly. So they actually want to reduce it even more. It also forced our studio support structures to scale to larger level than we could realistically support, given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. Initially, in 2023, an, uh, a rapid expansion ran he uh, headlong into broad economic slowdown, a sharp down, really, in, in, in 2023. So yeah, when people finally, even the hardcore lefties, came to the consensus that... I guess COVID is over. Um, <laughs> I, uh, force our studio su uh, support structures to scale to a larger level than we could realistically support, given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. Uh, a sharp downturn in the games industry. Our quality miss with Destiny... To our, uh, wait... Our quality miss? Are they, are they acknowledging it's a miss? With Destiny 2 Lightfall and the need to give both the final shape and marathon the time needed to ensure both products deliver the quality our players expect and deserve. Again, it ain't 2007 anymore. Who was looking for quality from Bungie? They were overly ambitious. Our financial safety margins were subsequently exceeded, and we began running in the red. After this new trajectory became clear, we knew we had to change our course and speed. We did everything we could to avoid today's outcome, even with the exhaustive efforts undertaken across our leadership and product teams to resolve our financial challenges. These steps were simply not enough. You, you, you say you did everything you could, but um, did you pull a Nintendo where you had your CEO take a massive pay? cut so that no layoffs had to happen because yeah that's a thing that happens in the east that's a thing that happens to individuals that care about the art form and the craft of making games and not just about the money well i said i'm not gonna blame the dude for buying cards because it's his money he can do with it what he wants if you actually cared about the people in your employ then maybe you could have done something similar to what nintendo does but you didn't because you don't actually care because you're in this game to make money not for the love and passion of what comes from making video games but it goes beyond that who is being laid off these actions will affect every level of the company, including most of our executive and senior lead roles. For everyone affected by this job reduction, they will be offering a generous exit package, including severance, bonus, and health coverage. Oh, really? See, I thought Paul Tassi was throwing a fit here about, uh, you know, many of the employee benefits, though not health insurance, only last till the end of the month. What we got coming from Bungie themselves, there's going to be a pretty delicious looking severance package, at least for those in the management class. Again, you probably do have some coders, some small time individuals that are not getting this, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and be all upsetty spaghetti. These individuals are losing their jobs when they're the one that destroyed gaming and they're getting a six severance pay and are probably gonna jump ship to another studio or form their own studios or something to that effect. You, you, you want me to feel sorry for these clowns after what they've been doing to gaming for the last 10 years? Absolutely not. Oh, the, um, over the next few quarters, Bungie will be integrating 155 jobs, roughly 12% of the studio's workforce, into SIE. They are also working with PS Studio leadership to spin out one of our incubation projects. And, uh, yeah, this is just, just basically, Dyker Girl is just giving us a, um, 
uh, a quick mini version. Marketing and production artist Mickey Bishop confirms they were affected by Bungie's layoffs. Uh, so this is a lot, but hi. So I've been affected, um, been, been affected by this. It really sucks. Please keep me in mind for any future roles or your studios for publishing, marketing, or roles in production, art roles. I have five years games industry experience and a variety of 3D and 2D roles. I'm also on the lookout for consumer product roles. I have a passion for consumer products and love working on projects for Bungie. Please consider me for artist roles, consumer pro I Again, there's, there's begging for a job, and I guarantee you, you are nothing special. You, you, you did not add anything to the Bungie, uh, you know, Bungie resources, to the Bungie development team that you couldn't get better somewhere else. I'm sorry, you sound like a girl with the name uh, Miki Bishop. You were probably a DEI hire to begin with because, uh, yeah, if you look at pictures from Bungie Studios in the mid-2000s when they actually made good games, very, very male-dominated um, you know, workforce as opposed to now, it's like all women and trannies. So just throwing that out there. Or uh, what, what about this individual right here? Uh, yeah, Time Space Alley, who is a pan-ace, she-her, Cthulhu, and elf enthusiast, formerly merch at Bungie, opinions mine, BLM, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, again, they're, they're, they're astral, Ethics, you know, whatever. Like basically, you got the trans, you got the, the the gay flag in the bio. They're all upset, spaghetti. I'm affected. I'm so sick and tired of these layoffs. Unionize, unionize, unionize. Oh, oh no, no. We certainly do not want these clowns to unionize. I'm sure I'll write up a bigger post later. But losing one's dream job is shattering. I've left my uh, I've left my little legacies. I highly doubt that. There's one of the TFS CE guess which is me. I love the teams. People seeing how many incredible talented people are being let go is heartbreaking. Well, at least you all fall and fail together. Uh, I'm going to take some time. If you need me, I'll probably be crafting and uh, uh, I'll probably be crafting in 14, Final Fantasy 14. My last post of the day because I need to log off the internet. Anyone needs some uh, as to assist with making some of the fi uh, fire merch licensing product development? I'd be more than happy to chat. Please reach out. I'll get back to you when my brain is in order. Again, you're not the type of individual that I would hire for a job because you do not sound like a sane and rational individual. In fact, you sound like the people, one of the people that. Have been leading to the complete and utter destruction of the gaming culture when you've got things in your bio like Pan Ace, when you've got uh, when you say BLM, when you put pronouns in there, you deserve to lose your job. Not because you, you've got this you know, weird ass sexuality and stuff going on, but because your adherence to this dogmatic modern religion could, I can guarantee you, overshadow the actual art of making games. You went in trying to change a hobby, trying to make changes to something that was previously established and absolutely amazing, rather than embracing it for what it was. Um, this is how I found out I'm laid off. Or what about another one? I didn't even tweet that I got promoted last month, but now I get to tweet that I got laid off. So there's that. Gonna miss my team. Or, uh, what, what about, what about this one here? This is, uh, Diana Madeline Voyer. Notice how it's a lot of women. Uh, yeah, Bo, she, her, even though Bo is a pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a male name when spelled like that, so, uh, yeah, I wonder what you are. Um, alright, ZV Sherman, uh, that looks like probably a guy. Again, we know this was a girl. Uh, this one right here is, uh, is, is a girl, um, you know, Diana. So they were a, uh, oh, oh, what was your job title? Uh, IRL Hacker Squid, former test mercenary at Bungie, queer and trans, she, her, level 30. Like, oh, oh, what a shock. Again, I know, this dude with pronouns in his bios, former, uh, former engine SDET producer on Marathon. Um, okay, you don't have anything weird about you, but hey, pronouns in your bios, you still probably absolutely deserved it. Uh, if I had a nickel for every time I was laid off from a studio I had dreamed to work at, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. It's not weird that it happened twice, because freaks like you that put pronouns in your bios have been culturally destroying the industry for ten years now. You brought this on yourself. I can only say the same thing so many times over and over. It's honestly quite amazing what is going on and how people are trying to run defense for Bungie and talk about how they're so sad about what's going on at Bungie, and oh my god, can you believe the CEO bought cars? Dude, I don't give a good goddamn what the CEO did. I am happy to see these layoffs happen, because the sooner we see an industry crash, the sooner the industry can rise up like a phoenix from the flame, and we can have good gaming again like we did from the 80s to about, oh, 2008 or so. And if it takes Bungie completely falling, dying, and all these DEI hires getting out of the workspace to do it, then by all means, I call that a W. I might even call that a hat trick. That's a triple W, but those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below. 
below. Let me know on X or you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I bring you nerdy news every day. Not always about the failing video game industry, though I do love to do that. But anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon. And become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord. Choose the articles I go over on a day-to-day -day basis. Choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams. And of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols. It is a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity, but only one kind of diversity. Diversity of thought. So if that sounds interesting to you, join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.